Hey guys, it's me, some guy, and today I'm going to teach you how to animate your fingers. Um, it's going to be a somewhat quick tutorial because it's really easy to do and I'm not trying to waste time. So from the last tutorial, I just go into your player model and it should look something like this. You want to go um, in the description, there is two paste links. One is called the XR Hand L and one is called XR Hand Controller. We just want to import those two, so I'm just going to create two C sharp scripts is going to be XR hand L make sure it's spelled exactly like that I'm just gonna duplicate it I'm gonna call this XR hand controller exactly like that and then I'm gonna go get the scripts and put them in each so this is XR hand L so I'm just gonna copy this go back into unity and put in this xr hand l script i just delete all this paste it in control s save and this is the xr hand controller get this you copy it you go to the xr hand controller paste it in and then you save it close now this script makes it obvious which script it should go because xr hand l goes up to the left hand because it has an l and XR hand controller goes into the right hand. Now in the right hand, it's going to say hand type left. You want to change this to right. And in photo, in this view thing, click on a plus and click on be your player. Do the same with the left hand. So keep this as left. And view with player. And now you don't have to do this, but I just like to do it because it's more organized. I just like to create a folder and then just call it animations and then from there that's where you put the animations and now we can actually start on animating by hand so i'm going to do the left hand first you do control six to get the animation tab i'm going to put it down here now left hand create you can call this whatever you want i'm just going to call it left hand animations this doesn't matter what you call it but once it's here, you want to click this right here, left hand animations or whatever you called it, and create a new clip. Now this does matter what you call it. You want to call it Pose 1. No capitals, just Pose 1, exactly like that. Save. And now you can click on the arrow in the left hand. And now we can actually start to animating the fingers. And so you want to go all the way to the end right here in the one minute mark. And the, and, and the finger that we're going to be animating is the end aka the trigger one so you just want to like open it up i'm gonna say like this and then you click this red record button and now you can animate the finger i'm not gonna animate it very well because this is just a tutorial to show you how to um you want to do it carefully so it looks good and doesn't look like very weird it looks strange you want to actually like try to make it look good um i'll do it like that then you can press this red button once you're done and you can just watch it if you want you just press space and then it plays the animation um it won't be like this when you press it it's like gorilla tags where if you slightly hold it it goes like that and if you fully hold it it stays like that now you want to create a new clip right here create a new clip call this one pose 2 and then pose 2 instead of the index we're gonna do the pinky aka the grip aka this one not the thumb this one um so you just go to the end hit the record and you just animate it um that looks weird but just whatever so i'm just gonna make it like that stop recording you can watch it if you want but i'm just gonna create a new clip and call this one pose three and now this one is gonna be the thumb so i'm just gonna open this up hit record then this um and by the way, before you animate, I recommend making your hand straight and not tilted like this. 
because it will be hard to animate it if it's tilted so I'm just animating it like this because it's the tutorial and not my actual fan game so and that looks good I guess and and now you can just go to the beginning right here and now you want to go back to the project you can just click out of that and you'll see that you have all these animations in the folder that you made before we go into the animator you want to click on all these that have like the triangle and the lines and on every single one you want to turn off loop time this is important otherwise once you like press trigger the animation won't stop and it'll just keep going so you want to make sure it's all off then you click on this one which is like three squares and then you go to window animation and animator right here and make sure it's selected here then you'll have all this you can just go you can select these delete and before you do anything click on parameters create one new one and call it and make it a float and call it pose one and then just do another flow and pose two and so on and then float pose three now that you've done that you can right click here create state from new blend tree you can double click on the blend tree and then you'll have this blend tree pose one drag this all the way up and then you click on it and it'll say blend type 1d you want to change this to direct then you want to create three motion fields so one two three then you change the, par the parameter to pose one two three drag this all the way up and this where it says none motion you want to drag in the pose animations so pose one is going to have pose one pose two is going to have pose two motion and pose three is going to have the pose three motion and once you're done with that you can go back to the scene and you can now come here and animate the other hand so i'm gonna do the right hand now so i'm gonna go to animation i'm gonna click on the right hand create you can call this whatever this doesn't matter and we're gonna create a new clip and instead of calling it one two three pose one two three um we're gonna call it pose four five and six because if you call it one that's gonna replace the animation and the well it's gonna break so it's gonna be pose four create it and pose four is gonna be the index the same as the other one so all the way to the end you record yeah the hands weird i i messed something up i don't know what i messed up though whatever it doesn't matter it's gonna go like that i guess then you stop recording all the way to the beginning create a new clip call this one pose five this one is the grip button to the end you record same thing create a new clip pose six and this one's the thumb now once you're done with that you can deselect and you have more poses and another one of these three squares you want to do what you did with the poses and the right hand animation triangles I'm gonna turn off loop time on every single one of them. Then you click on the right hand with the three squares. Go to the animator. Right here is these. You can just delete them. Make sure in your you're in parameters. Click. Add a new float. This is pose four. This is pose five. And this is pose six. And you just create from new blend tree again. Double click. Drag this all the way up. Change the blend type to direct. Add three motion fields. Make this pose five and pose six. Drag these all the way up. Make pose four have the pose four, pose five, pose five, and pose six as well. Pose six. You can go back to the scene and pretty much if you join the game now, you will have animated fingers, but they won't be networked, meaning only you can see them. So, to make other people see them, and let's start on the left hand. So on the left hand, what you want to do is, you go to the left hand and you want to add a photon animator view. And on the first one, just make sure it's disabled, and then these three, just make it discrete, discrete, and discrete. Do the other with this hand, change these to discrete, discrete, and discrete. And once you've done that, um, if you can like playtest with some friends, They'll be able to see you move your fingers and all that. 
and that's pretty much it for today's tutorial um hope you guys enjoyed it uh goodbye gamers